follow up to this morning's top story. After a bombshell leak, the Supreme Court is expected to overturn the landmark abortion decision known as Roe v. Wade. A reversal of the 1973 case would remove national legal protection of the right to an abortion. So many people are wondering, what could this mean for the state of California? And joining us to weigh in is attorney Allison Treasel uh, to give us some of her expertise. Uh, good morning to you, Allison. How are you? Good. So nice to see the both of you. So much to talk about. So let's start here. At least 13 states have passed so-called trigger laws that would make most or all abortions illegal if Roe v. Wade is overturned. So talk to us what that would mean uh, for these states and all states individually. Okay, so as we know, this is a draft opinion that has been leaked. But if it becomes the law and Roe v. Wade is overturned, in those 13 states, abortions are banned, first, second trimester completely banned. Additionally, there are 10 states that have anti abortion laws in place, and if uh, over, Roe v. Wade is in fact overturned, Although they're not trigger laws, they will soon follow the other 13 states. So, Allison, one thing that all the legal experts are doing is they're reading that, a piece, uh, that, that opinion piece that was written by Justice Samuel Alito. So, what, what exactly did he say, and, and, and do you agree with what he said? Well, those are two very separate questions. So, what he said was that the right to have an abortion is not specifically protected in the Constitution, that it's not part of our history and our traditions. So he is a contextualist. He is somebody that, that says, has always said, that you look at the text of the Constitution, and essentially, if it's not written in there, that right is not protected. So he's saying that even the 14th Amendment does not protect this right to privacy. You do not have a right to have an abortion, and that, that Roe was, frankly, wrongly decided. So for him and for the other conservatives on the bench who also believe in the original text of the Constitution, that is what they seem to be uh, resorting to, that it wasn't in the original text, therefore it is not a protected right. Can you talk about this leak, Allison? Um, how do you think this happened? This, this doesn't happen very often. What happened here that allowed this to, is it all political? What broke down? Lynette, when you say it, it doesn't happen often, it never happens like this. It has never happened where the actual entirety of the opinion has been released to the public. Interestingly, there was a smaller leak on the actual road decision where a clerk for one of the justices shared information with a friend of his who was a reporter at the Times. But it was at the Time magazine, but it was, it's never been a complete leak. And yes, of course, do we think it's political? It was somebody who wanted to release this case early to stir some type of political pot. We don't know who it is. We don't know what justice or what clerk or, I mean, you know, although there's probably only 40 people that had their hands on this draft opinion, they are investigating it, but they don't know who leaked it and what their motivation was. Allison, can we talk about what's going to happen here in the state of California? Um, and I, I think after hearing from Governor Newsom this past week, not much is going to change here in our state, correct? Right. I mean, in the short term, we're actually going to expand the right to have an abortion in the state. We're going to uh, further cement the idea that we are a sanctuary state. And what Newsom wants to do is put on the ballot a measure that would enshrine the right to uh, an abortion in our state constitution. So in the short term, at least, um, the intention for this state is to expand uh, a woman's right to choose. What are your thoughts about um, the companies that are coming in and saying they will pay for an employee to travel to a state? Like I'm reading Amazon saying that they will pay to cover the cost for travel for That's one not. of their employees uh, to go to a state that would allow abortion. Tesla, uh, Citibank, Yelp, uh, or Citigroup, Yelp, Lyft. Like there are a lot of companies that are coming out and saying, okay, if we live, if you're here in a state that does not allow this, that bans it, we're going to go ahead and pay your travel expenses. What are your thoughts? On that. Well, I think it's interesting, but you know, if in fact the polls are correct, 70% of Americans want some form of choice. They want limitations, but they want some form of the right to choose. So perhaps this is in response to what they understand their employees 
want, what the majority of people in this country want, which is access to have the right to choose. Um, and, and I think that, that you're going to see that even expand further because if there is this groundswell of people who say this, this opinion was wrongly decided and what am I going to do and I need to turn to my employer for help, those big companies are going to turn to states like California um, where their employees can then get help. And then, so Allison, the, the, the one way around all of this, right, it, it has to deal with, with voting and getting to, to, to vote for a candidate that, that's going to essentially make decisions that, that you favor. And, and we saw this back in 2016. You had someone running for president. He made it very clear that his, his alignment was going to be to appoint Supreme Court justices who are conservative and would likely overturn this. So is the solution not to get to the ballot box and, and exercise your right to vote? Well, that's essentially what's going to happen, right? So this should not be a major surprise to people for several reasons. Um, two, three very conservative judges were, justices were appointed to the bench in short order. Um, anyone that had any experience with any of their cases or their opinions knew that they questioned Roe v. Wade. Were they going to go far enough to overturn it? We did not know that. Um, and then the questions that they asked while this case was being argued indicated that that was the direction. And the thing about this opinion that people need to understand is that it doesn't ban abortions. It returns the power to the states to individually decide what is best for that state. And how do you deal with individual state laws? Well, you, you look to the politicians that are elected in that state. And if they don't align with what you believe, um, then you need to get out the vote. You need to speak up. And I think that that, they, that is correct, that it's, it will come down to individual states and the people running those states. And if you're not, uh, you're not in line with those, those opinions and the way they feel about certain things like abortion or gay marriage or whatever that cause is, then the answer to that is to change who is in office. Allison, we appreciate you getting up so early on a Saturday morning. Happy Mother's Day to you tomorrow, okay? Thank you so Thank much. Thank you. Nice to see both of you. Good Great seeing you, Allison. You. Thank you. Uh, for more from Allison, you can visit AllisonTreasolLaw.com.